Hi, welcome to uh, a video I'm actually re recording on a Google Chromebook, a uh, Samsung Chromebook 3. This is my second lesson in uh, using HTML, um, uh, HTML5, and I'm doing it on Google Drive with a plugin called HTML Editor. And today we're going to talk about um, like text elements in HTML. So if you remember the last one, and, and the cool thing about doing it on Google Drive is I have a code here and I have a preview of the code here. So we're going to do a few things. One, for this, um, I'm going to take this hello world and I want to put it in a paragraph. So I'm just going to do that tag, which is the P tag is the paragraph tag, and I'm going to then say hello, oops, hello world. Okay. There's also, let's also um, do some different heading tags. So let's do an H2 uh, and we'll say a little bit about HTML uh, text elements. Okay. So you see the heading, it looks a little different than the uh, H1 heading. Okay. And within this, we can start to do some things. We can um, link files. So that would be an A, and then we type href equals, and then double quotes, which it gives me. And then we'd put the link in here. Um, let's say I want to go to a cycling website. So I go, let's do cycling news. Okay. And uh, then I could type this link goes to a cycling website. Okay, and that would that would go to a cycling website. Another thing we can do is um, in a paragraph we can have a, a span, and so I'm going to type in a span, and I can style it. Um, I can say the style equals, and this is like a little styling within the HTML. Um, color, let's say green, do a um, semicolon to end it, and then create a span, a green span. And you'll see the, that it's green. So that's how um, you can do that. And you can add other stuff like uh, text decoration uh, underline. So you can have an underline, okay? Let me say uh, we can have a green span that is underlined, okay? Other elements that uh, organize our text, oops, um, we can do an unordered list. So type UL, and then within that, we can have a list item. So this might be list item one. list item two and do my list item three. And so we've got those three list items there. We can also do an order list. And we can do list items again. List item one. You see it gives the actual order of the list items, list, and we'll do list item two. See, it's numbering it. And, I, and then we'll do list item three. Okay, um, so those, let's see, okay, anything else I would use? Uh, oh, uh, okay, for mathematics, there's a couple other things we can do. So um, let's, say we want, and we'll type in uh, the brackets in SUP, superscript. Okay. We can have something superscript. Or we want, and then type in the brackets SUB, subscript. Okay. Um, okay. 
So we can do superscript or subscript. Okay. I hope you guys are seeing that. And I'm recording the first time I'm recording on Screencastify, uh, the free version, just trying it out, um, seeing how it works. Uh, so um, those are some elements you can start to work with in your HTML. And I hope that stuff works for you. And I hope this lesson is helpful and you can start to do it on Google Drive with HTML Edity if you want. Um, and I can go more into that later. I'll probably do um, uh, coding on Google Drive. Uh, I got this new uh, Samsung Chromebook 3 for some birthday money. It was $169 at Walmart with the taxes and everything. And there's a lot you can do on it. Um, so it's kind of pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to stop this video and I hope it was helpful. Thanks for tuning in.